Hi everyone, I'm Quentin Lucas, the mayor of Kansas City. I'm joined today by Police Chief Stacy Graves, our Fire Chief Ross Grendison. After I'm done speaking, Police Chief Graves will give details on the incident that happened earlier today. A few things that I want to make sure we note at the outset. Uh, first today, we had 600 Kansas City, Missouri Police Department officers, 250 from outside agencies. We went out today, like everyone in Kansas City, looking to have a celebration. That celebration was marred by a shooting today. And we recognize that there are some who are injured. We are praying for the safety of everyone. I've talked to a few different uh, folks so far. One, we have spoken to the Kansas City Chiefs, who made clear that their prayers are with everyone who was at the parade today, everyone in Kansas City, and everyone who was touched by this incident. They also noted that their players, coaches, and staff are all accounted for at this point and safe. We, however, know that this is a fluid situation, so all that we are sharing now may change as the hours go ahead. We've also received a call from the White House that offered all federal assistance in the investigation. We had federal agencies present today. We appreciate that, and certainly in the days ahead and the hours ahead, we will make sure we continue to do this work. I will say personally, first, a thank you to the women and men of law enforcement, to the women and men who work with the Kansas City Fire Department and our other agencies. When the shooting started, I, like many others, ran and ran for safety. I saw a number of agencies, including the Kansas City Police Department, officers with guns drawn, who were running towards danger. We thank them for that. As I was leaving the scene, I saw members of our Kansas City Fire Department administering aid to folks who were seriously injured without concern for the shootings and the challenges that were near them. This is absolutely a tragedy, the likes of which we would have never expected in Kansas City and the likes of which we will remember for some time. However, I want to say thank you to those who are making sure that we are safe today, those who are investigating this incident, and those who will continue to make sure that those who committed these acts today are brought to justice. We'll come back for some questions at the end of the Chief's comments, but now the Police Chief, Stacy Graves. Chief Stacy Graves, Kansas City, Missouri Police Department. At the conclusion of the Chief's rally today, there were shots fired on the west side of Union Station. Immediately, officers responded to the area, took two people into custody, and also immediately rendered life-sustaining aid to those victims. We're still gathering information on the number and the status of victims. But like I said, we know that one of the victims is deceased. We also know that officers ran towards danger Officers were there to keep everyone safe. I'm angry at what happened today. The people who came to this celebration should expect a safe environment. We had over 800 law enforcement officers, Kansas City and other agencies, at the location to keep everyone safe. Because of bad actors, which were very few, this tragedy occurred, even in the presence of uniformed law enforcement officers, who again ran towards them and took them into custody. To the people who were injured in this tragedy, our hearts go out to you and your families. This investigation is just beginning, and we are working safely to clear all surrounding areas and businesses this is still an active investigation. Uh, we will continue to keep you updated. We will keep you updated on Twitter and most likely a follow-up uh, press availability. have an exact number of people who were victims of a gunshot wound. It could be upwards from 10 to 15 with one deceased. I do not have conditions on our victims just yet. Any believed to be children? 
I don't. I do not believe that any of them were children. Any law enforcement injured in this first response? Um, nothing of note. Chief, what prompted? What do you, what, what do you guys believe now prompted the issue? Uh, we are still. That is still under investigation. Uh, I myself was outside when I heard the shots fired. It is an ongoing investigation. It's going to take us a little bit to determine exactly what led up to the shooting. I will say though, we do have two suspects in custody. There are rumors circulating on social media that some fans may have helped. I have, I have heard that as well. I have heard that that fans got involved in the apprehension or the pursuit of one of the suspects. I cannot confirm that right now, but that is something that I have heard myself. Can yes. Talk about the response time because you see, ten to fifteen possibly injured in the shooting, but there's eight hundred officers there. This happened pretty quickly. So can you talk about when this started, sort of the timeline from there to the point where your officers responded to the point where you had KCFD helping to absolutely your first day. As soon as the rally concluded, there were shots fired on the west side of Union Station. Officers were on scene in the area. I know one of the suspects was immediately pursued on foot. Um, like I said, there's two suspects in custody. I have heard uh, the information that was just requested. I will confirm or deny that. Um, but after that, immediately officers began rendering life-sustaining aid, calling in fire which is the, the fire department, to uh, also assist those victims. Do you know if there were more than two people taken into custody? Because we had two people, after you guys had made your announcement that there were two people in custody, two people live on our air being taken, handcuffed, put into vans. So can you tell well, us about that and the process as this investigation continues? I don't know exactly the two that you're talking about that, that your camera caught. Um, on, on video being loaded into a wagon. I don't know that, but I can tell you that uh, in and around that scene, it is still active. Um, not active in, in necessarily threats, but it's a very active scene. We're still investigating. This is still early on. Um, we still have parties that are walking into hospitals. Chief Graves, do you know anything about the suspects in terms of where they're from? Are they from Kansas? I do not know that, but that's something that, that I also will be finding out. Two questions. We are hearing upwards of maybe 20 shots. Can you talk about the number that you heard? I'm there? hearing 10 to 15, possibly 15, with, with the one um, that is uh, deceased. And do you know anything about the timing? It seems odd that it's waited to the very end of the rally. I don't have anything about, I, I can't give you an answer on the timing. I can just say that. Uh, that's when it occurred, and we are investigating what led up to that. Maybe once we get some of those details, we'll know why that happened at that time. But right now, it's just it's still too new. Chief, was just, my Chief, was it just one incident or multiple incidents that, that injured multiple? That is something that, that is under investigation. Mayor Quinton Lucas talked about how you were on the ground and you yourself had to run for safety. I understand we're, we're still waiting on a timeline, and I'm trying to understand what exactly happened. But we were having a Super Bowl parade. And this is what the country is talking about now. What is your message to this city at a time like this? I second the comments by the chief of police. I'm heartbroken. First of all, I'm praying for the victims and the families impacted. I start with them. Um, I'm incredibly upset, disappointed. I was there with my wife. I was there with my mother. Uh, we never would have thought that we, along with Chiefs players, along with fans, hundreds of thousands of people, would be forced to run for our safety today. I think that I'll let the investigation shake out before coming to any further conclusions, but I think the initial response absolutely is anger. You know, we have done a number of these now, and this is a day that a lot of people look forward to, something they remember for a lifetime. And what they shouldn't have to remember is the threat of gun violence marring a day like this, injuring them and their families. This morning, I was actually thinking about bringing my child, as many people in Kansas City did. And I don't want us to have to, in our country, for every big event, think about a concern of being shot. As the chief noted, we had a lot of law enforcement officers there today. They did exceptional and outstanding work. And I will second that again, because on your timeline point, I was inside of Union Station. We heard something. A number of us start running. And I see a stream of officers going the exact other direction, in, with guns drawn, ready to address danger. And that was the, the situation throughout, people who responded absolutely immediately. But I wish that we lived in a world where they wouldn't have to do that. I wish we lived in a world where we wouldn't have to see incidents like that.
but I'm as heartbroken as anybody. We will do a, a full and thorough investigation. I hope that we bring whoever this is to justice, and we will continue to try to make sure that we can be as safe as possible. However, when you have people who decide to bring guns to events, when you have people who are deciding to try to mar events, celebratory ones like this one, all of us start to become members of this club that none of us want to be a part of, which is those who have experienced mass shootings. I hope for Kansas City this is one of the last times we experience that. Was, was, was the players in any danger at any point? What's that? Sorry, I'm going. Were any players in danger at any point? Was I in danger? No, were any players. of the players, the Chiefs players? Uh, you know what? I, I think we'll let the investigation take a look at that. The police department responded effectively. I think